Mambo vipi mwana SNS popote pale ulipo wakati mwingine mzuri sana huu hapa. Mimi naitwa Frederick Bundala Skywalker. Kabla ya yote nikupe habari hii njema wewe ambaye unaendesha gari aina ya Toyota. Toyota Tanzania sasa wanakuletea Toyota Genuine Motor Oil vile inishi pekee ambavyo Toyota yako inastahili. Toyota Genuine Motor Oil husaidia kuongeza maisha ya inji na gari yako. Hii oil bana husaidia kukabiliana na acid uh, ambayo ni mbaya ambazo zinaweza kutengenezwa wakati wa combustion. Uh-huh. Uh, huzuia uundaji wa corrosion hu, uh, ambazo ni kutu vile vile na kufanya engine yako kufanya kazi kwa ufanisi mkubwa kwa muda mrefu. Sasa kama una gari aina ya Toyota, kwa nini usitumie vile inishi vya engine kutoka Toyota wa wenyewe? Vile inishi hivi sasa vinapatikana kupitia mawakala wote wa Toyota Tanzania hapa nchini Tanzania. Kwa maelezo zaidi usiliana nao kupitia namba hizi 0763 Mjini tunasema gari Toyota uh, gari Toyota oil Toyota. So karibu sana nipo na Herod Paul supermodel kutoka Tanzania. Tumefanya uh, m- interview na haikuwa interview by the way ilikuwa inatumia content. Yes. Ilikuwa 2020 na 20 na 20. Mbili na 20. Mbili na 20 huko Italia. Yes. Alafu ndio inatangaza bana kuna gonjwa limekuja tena zinaongelewa ku China limesambaa duniani wao kwa Italia. Yes. Hiyo ilikuwa ni uh, kilikuwa ni kipindi kibaya sana kwa sababu kwanza ndio hivyo content hiyo ikawa imefia hapo lakini wewe ukao umejikuta huko ugenini. Mm-hmm. Ilikuwaaje wake tuanzie hapo? <laughs> um, kipindi cha COVID kilinikuta kama nilivyosema nilivyokuwa Italy. Yeah. And kwa kweli I have to say like it was a really bad time. Yeah. Kama nilivyosema nilikuwa nchingeni sijuani na mtu yote pale mm. ndege zimekuwa cancelled siwezi kurudi nyumbani yeah. so it was actually really really hard mm. lakini i think nilika Italy for three months baadaye wakaruhusu ndege nikarudi nyumbani ah, so ilishindwa kusafiri ndio hicho nilipata chance ya kurudi nyumbani lakini unajua kipindi kile kila mtu anadhani ah itaisha hata wiki aishi yeah. itakuwa imeshaondoka but no okay Three months i was stuck in italy ulikuwa na fun things kipindi chote hicho hanging out <laughs> <laughs> kazi ziko kwa mbona no i'm not kazi everything was closed uwezi kupata kazi there was no shopping kila kitu kimefungwa kwa hiyo kwa ni mtu hoteli ndio mtu hoteli ni room service yeah that was it Ah. <laughs> it sounds like my shamazuri my shama, you know luxury life like any you know it was really really hard. Yeah. Yeah. Lakini baada ya kutoka hapo pia uliporudi ulirudi uli, uh, Marekani sio? Nirudi New York. New York. Yeah. Lakini maisha yaliendelea yale yale pia ya kukaa ndani. Mm-hmm. Maisha yale yale ya kukaa ndani unajifungia ndani. Yeah kwanza kipindi kile like food is really hard to get uko mm. kila kitu kimefungwa hamna kazi lakini i think after those three months covid was my best year ah kwa nini vitu vingi really happened to me that i was like this is actually really good kwenye kwenye career yako kwenye quarantine kwenye career yangu i just i got engaged ah, i had oh, oh, babies okay. Bina, kibinafsi kibinafsi ah, yeah okay. and i was working Kibindi a lot cho. too ah. yeah yeah okay so uko engaged na na uh, shemeji yetu ni msudani huyu eh yeah south sudanese south sudanese yeah. okay na kafanikiwa kupata watoto mtoto Mtoto. ana umri gani sasa hivi 2.5 miaka miwili na nusu wow yeah. hongera sana <laughs> kwa, okay kwa hiyo ni katika hicho hicho kipindi cha quarantine ndo wakati uko Italy tayari mko na uhusiano naye yeah tulikuwa already tuna relationship mm. and then covid ilivotokea nikarudi new york nikamwomba aje because i didn't want yeah, to be alone abi. anymore canada ah okay yeah sikutaka kuwa peke yangu so i asked him kama anaweza kuja mm hakaja and then inajua kipindi hicho kila mtu alijua dunia inaisha like <laughs> wale yeah. wanaojua bwana Yesu wanakuja mm, like me nikajua wa, wa, yani this is sana, it sana, this was it okay. so out of fear <laughs> we got engaged and then we bought a house and then yeah ingine in Canada ah okay yeah. Ah bana, ukisikia mtu amenunua nyumba nchi hizo za huko si mchezo hongera sana. Hata hivyo uko sha save sana umefanya kwa muda mrefu. Hiyo ilikuwa nyumba yako ngapi? Ah ya tatu. Okay. Yeah. Na hiyo na zingine ziko kwanza wapi? Uko kwa Canada lakini ni kama investment, yani ni yeah. una nunua unapangisha. Mhm. Yeah. Kwa kwa sasa hivi zote sasa hivi umezipangisha. Yeah. Wow. 
Ongera. Mimi niko huko most of the time. Ah, okay. Unaona hiyo super mafupa mode anafanya kazi nzuri. Kwa hiyo kama we ni mzazi sasa hivi unatazama hii interview. Alafu unamkataza binti yako asiingie kwenye super mode kufanya modeling na nini? Sikia Harriet ambapo amefanikiwa na mambo makubwa ambayo anayafanya. So hizi ni moja kati ya mifano ambayo tunapendaga sana kuisikia ili mtu ajue kwamba watu wa wachezi wanapokuwa wanafanya runways pale. Ni kazi kama kazi wachezi. Ngine. Okay. You know sometimes I get really disappointed when watu wana think modeling sio ni mm. yani ni vitu vibaya. I think bila hii kazi nisingeweza kum saidia wazazi wangu kumnulia my mom a car kununua manyumba kusafiri yani to live the life ambayo nataka yeah so it's a job like any other kazi mwingine so, anaenda kazini kama ni doctor mwingine anaenda lawyer wengine tunaenda photo shoot mm-hmm. it's, it's just a job doesn't yeah. mean nikiwa nyumbani ndo na act <laughs> kama model no nyumbani ni mama office yo office yani official professional oh yeah yeah amazing Well, um kuhusu mafanikio tutaongea baadaye kidogo. Nataka tu ni tuseme uh, picha latest kabisa na huko kwenye Vogue Hong Kong. Thank you. Wow, hiyo ni hiyo ni front page. Yeah. Ongea okay, sana. Hii ni Vogue ya ngapi? Actually ni Vogue ya tatu. Vogue yeah. is not easy to yeah. come by. Mhm. Na tena uko cover juu. Cover is not easy. Vogue in general just Vogue is such a big publication. Yeah. Paka wenyewe wa recognize waseme huyu na kuweka jina lako pale juu. Sasa wengine unaweza ukaweka kwenye cover lakini jina lako halipo. Paka waweke jina lako on the cover. Mtu angalia hii ya Hong Kong ameandika nini hapa juu kwa sababu jina lako tawajandika chochote. So mle ndani kuna cover story. Exactly. Yeah. So actually nilikuwa hapa this was in May, tarehe 20 May. Mwaka ni email akasema would like to shoot you just for the inside of the magazine. Yeah. Nikasema okay, kufika pale wakaniambia actually. Nikaenda wapi Gibidi? Hong Kong. Ah. Yeah. Kutoka hapa nikaanza na Hong Kong kufika wakaniambia actually tunataka kuweka kwenye cover and then yeah. So it happened. So kitu hivyo unafanya bure au unalipo? Actually Vogue alipi? Zero. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> They paid for my flight na hotel room lakini no sijalipa chochote. Ah okay kwa sababu unachokipata baada ya hapo is big. Exactly. Na kila mmoja anahitaji kukaa pale. Na exactly. which is not easy. It's not easy. Yaani kama value yako mm. as a model, price yako ya kuachaji hawa clients wengine naenda juu ukiwa kwenye cover ya Vogue. Ah. Yeah. But Vogue wenyewe hawakulipi chochote. Okay. Yeah. Ni kama Super Bowl unavosikia Jennifer Lopez ka perform hajalipwa. Exactly. Sometimes amegaramika mwenyewe. Exactly. Lakini baada ya hili ile show madili anawapata thamani yake is exactly. big do vogue livo exactly. how alipi wale zero kwa sababu nyingine <laughs> kama modo huko desperate kidogo najilipia mwenye ndege kwenda oh yeah sometimes but <laughs> this time I'm going to my flight oh yeah, yeah. so so he ya uh, hong kong kubwa kiasi gani maka vogue kwa uk kwa um, in brazil yeah so vogue ni kama wako under condenas publication mm. ni kama ukisikia labda tuseme mm. SNS kuna different oh, IPP media exactly. kuna ITV kuna Radio 1 Exactly. Yeah. So Vogue kuna the biggest one ni American Vogue, French Vogue, Italian Vogue and then is zingine ndo zinafata. But it's still Vogue so. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So 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 Vogue Hong Kong Vogue zingine zipi ambazo lisha? Um I've done Italian Vogue, nilikuwa yeah. 15, nisha kufanya American Vogue and that's it. Yeah. Wow. I say. Na hivi kuna magazine nyingine kubwa zaidi ya Vogue kwenye modeling. Nyingi sana. Like kuna thamani, thamani yake. Thamani yake. No, yeah. Vogue is the biggest one but kuna L. Yeah. Um Cosmopol- Cosmo- Cosmopolitan. Cosmopolitan. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cosmopolitan. Um 17 kuna Teen Vogue ziko nyingi. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, teen Vogue ni kwa ajili ya walio chini. Yeah. Yeye usha kuepo. Usha kufanya when I was a teen. Aha. Uh-huh. Ndani lakini. Yeah, between 15 and 19 unaweza kufanya. Mm. Yeah. Na na mara mwisho umefanya casting lini zile kubwa kubwa? Cast COVID 2020. Okay. Yeah. Umefanya yeah, sana. Castings in a while. Okay. Nimefanya sana because as a model hata kama umeshajulikana mm. unafika point ambayo watu hawajakuona in a while. Umekuwa umejificha huku chanika kwetu. Yeah. <laughs> so you need to go there wa kuone they see you still look good your skin is glowing mm. but you still have the professionalism on our itaji. So yeah. Yeah. Na sio kitu kibaya kufanya hata hata kina Kendall Jenner wanafanya bado. I think to some degree anafanya castings but I don't think yeye yeah, anaenda yeah. like to the castings. Maybe labda wanamwambia like send us a picture. Mm. Tuone nyone zako zinafanana naje but I don't think 
I don't know maybe she does. Yeah. yeah. Kendo she fanya na mshakutana na SM. Kona EP. Yeah. Kona EP. Show. Mm-hmm. She was right in front of me. Okay. Yeah. Imagine. So na haya yote namuuliza ili ujue kwamba nayo zungumza na hapa sio mchezo mchezo. Na Victoria Secret she fanya? Yes. Ngapi? Four times. Four times. Yeah. Yenyewe Victoria Secret nadhani katika fashion shows ndio kubwa kama Grammy. Yeah. Yaani ile event. Yeah. Nne umefanya. Zii mwaka gani mwaka gani? Um nilifanya ya London 2016, nikafanya ya Paris 2017, nikafanya ya Shanghai 2018. Mm. Na 2019 nilifanya ya New York. Okay. Yeah. Ah, sasa hii okay. Process ikoje mpaka kuingia kupewa Victoria Patricia. Secret. Yeah. Um okay. So the first time nilijaribisha kwenda kwenye casting ya Victoria Secret kwa kweli sikujielewa sikujijua okay. when you go there inabidi ujijue and you need to know who you are you need to know yourself kwa sababu yeah. kiingia in the room there is like 30 cameras kwa <laughs> yeah, camera makubwa Ma, ya 30 30 eh. kuna watu wengine hata waeleweki wa everybody is just looking at you sasa wewe uende pale unaogopa si ya una confidence unaharibu unaharibu so yeah. you need to walk in there like I know what I'm doing. Yeah. Yani you believe in yourself kama wewe ni mtu wa prayers, omba sana kabla hujaingia. Mm. Kiingia it's straight to business. So when I first went to the casting wakanikataa, mara ya pili wakanikataa, mara ya tatu wakanikataa, <laughs> mara ya nne nikasema if this year kama sitaingia kwenye hii show. Na hiyo na hiyo unazungumza mara nne ni kila mwaka hiyo. Kila mwaka. Miaka mitatu nakataliwa. Nakwambia no. Yeah, bado. Mara ya nne nilipoenda wakaniambia wakaniuliza kwanza where are you from? Kwa sababu shakutana na mimi before nikamwambia Tanzania kasema we've never had a girl from Tanzania doing a show. Mm. Kasema okay. Kaniambia can you take a walk? Nime practice walk yangu, yani runway walk yangu so many times. Mm. So alivoniambia ni walk, I walked, I smiled. Basi nikamwachia Mungu, nikipata napata nikosa. Mm. Nikosa. Potele mbali. But nilijua nimepata. Okay. Ah hiyo ulijua kabisa hii ni nime... yeah. I nailed it. Yeah. Okay. I was very confident. <laughs> Simu unatumiwa email au inakuwaaje majibu? No, wanatuma kwa agency. Ah. So after one week wanaangalia like maybe 5000 girls kwa wiki moja. Mm. After one week wanatuma email kwa agencies ambazo au wasichana wako nazo. So kwa agency yangu wakatuma email tunataka msichana huyu huyu na huyu. Out of the whole agency mimi nikachaguliwa basi. Na wana apply one week sana. Sana 5000 girls, wasichana 5000. I see. Mm-hmm. Na wana panda siku kuna runway ni ngapi? 70, 70. Uh, so uh, Kendall kutana naye kwenye at the VS shop ya. Aha. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Well, well, well. So uh, z- yenyewe unalipwa sio? Hiyo unalipwa. Mm. Vizuri mm. sana. Unalipwa. <laughs> <laughs> sio kidogo. <laughs> like how much like uko kwenye peak kabisa? Um I don't know if I should say. <laughs> But it was good. Let's yeah, say. Yeah, hela nzuri. Sasa hilo liko naongelea kuhusu Toyota. Mm. Ni kama hela kunulia Toyota. Ah, okay. Yeah. It's good money. Yeah, it's good money. Okay. Na 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 okay. Na wewe sasa kwenye 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 career yako hela nyingi natoka wapi kwenye nini? Mm, hela nyingi natoka kufanya runway shows ama campaigns ama shooting for brands for their stores. Yeah. Then yeah. Brand gani kubwa ambao umewahi kufanya nao kazi? Sky nimeshafanya na zote. zote. Wewe niambie brand na uzijua nikwambie kama nimefanya nazo. <laughs> Okay, zote. Wewe yeah, taja zote zote Balenciaga. Balenciaga. Zote hizo. Gucci, zote. Fendi, Prada, Chanel, Tom Ford, Calvin Klein. Yeah, zote hizo. Wow. Wapi unalipa vizuri zaidi? Brand gani? Um actually labda ni sema brands za Marekani zinalipa vizuri sana. Aha. Uh-huh. Yeah. I don't know. Ambao ni zipi za Marekani? Ni mostly commercial brands. So kama Calvin Klein walipa vizuri. Uh, okay. Um Tommy Hilfiger wanalipa vizuri. Um nilikuwa nafanya na Maybelline wanalipa vizuri. Just American brands ni kama kwanza Ufaransa au tuseme Europe. Mm. Kilipwa serikali nakata nusu paycheck yako. Ah uh, uh, I see wana kata kodi kubwa sana. Mm. Kwa hiyo Marekani sio kodi kubwa sana ndio maana. Mm. Kwa at least at least unaifaidi hiyo hela. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Atari sana. <laughs> okay, so so New York. Yeah. Um ulianza kaa kuanzia lini New York? New York nilianza kukaa since I was 16. Nimaliza mm-hmm. high school, nitakiwa niende university. Kaambia mom, mimi I don't think university is for me. Yeah. Nitarudi Mungu akipenda but for now naomba nikatafute maisha. So 
akanipa support akanilipia ticket ya ndege akanipa some change mm. nikaenda New York when I was miaka 16 and sijarudi hadi na miaka 24 yeah. ukafikia wapi sasa a hotel na agency yako ikawa ina nilikuwa na agency so akanitafutia hotel yeah. and unajua agencies za kule ni kama sio kama watu waamini sana sisi wa Afrika yani ni kama hawataki ku invest in you unless they know they're going to get the investment back okay so nikisema hivyo namaanisha hawezi kulipia laba ndege au visa because they don't know kama kweli utafika utafanya kazi mm-hmm. so my mom being a good woman that she is i can support nilipofika nikaanza kufanya kazi yani they were even shocked that they didn't even believe in me in the beginning you agency yeah kazi is cause nimeminika sana yani tuseme in the last 10 years even then them wananiambia i'm their top earner ah. and out of all the models ambao kwenye agency i'm the top one that makes them the most money ah, okay Ah kwa okay. hiyo uh, ukipata zaidi wao wanapata zaidi kwa sababu kuna percentage ya commission yao. yao. Na percentage yao ni 20%. Okay. Yeah. Na wana contact wao sio wewe. Yeah. So wao as an agency wanaongea na clients. Mm. Wanasema okay Gucci tuna Harriet Poe ametoka Tanzania. Mm. Urefu wake ni kiasi hichi. This is her photo and anaonekana hivi. And then Gucci will say okay tuta fanya naye kazi for this price agency sasa okay au kama wana negotiate wanakubaliana naenda kufanya kazi nikilipwa agency inakata commission yao mhm ah uh, inaitwaje kweli ile nani yako agency yako oh agency yangu inaitwa 210 management 210 kwa hiyo wanasema katika miaka yote hiyo 10 wa career yako hawajawahi kupata mtu ambaye uh, wanamsibamia ambaye ameingizia mkwanja mrefu zaidi Yes. Bado uko nao? Bado niko nao. Okay. Yeah. Ni watu wazuri sana. Sana. And okay. I'm going there tarehe 15. Iko Canada? No, iko Marekani. Aha. Uh-huh. Ziko nyingi. So as a model unaruhusiwa kuwa na agencies different places. So kama una agency Tanzania unaruhusiwa kuwa na agency Italia, agency Faransa, agency Marekani, agency Australia. Mm. Ili zote zina kuingizia hela zote yeah. zinapatia. Kwa wewe unazo ngapi? Um nyingi sana. Mm. Yeah. Zaidi ya tano. Yeah sababu kama kazi iko let's say ujerumani mm. clients wana interfere ujerumani na sina agency then na miss out on kazi okay yeah. ah, so at least k- k- kwenye nchi zote kubwa muhimu yeah, unakuwa na mtu na kusimamia exactly okay uh, uh, paris fashion week ushaenda yes. kadhaa yes wao inakuaje maana unaona kama dunia fashion inahamia kule yes na under the biggest ama the kuna nyingine paris is the biggest one kwa sababu all mm. the best designers wako pale mm. so and also pia Paris wanafanya like fashion week 3 times a year so kuna Chanel kuna Scaparelli yani all the big designers wako pale so if you're a model our fashion person kama unapenda fashion Paris is the place to be mm wewe yeah. well, ngapi like 10 kumi ni nyingi sana ah wow uko uko ndo kuna kutana na wote kina Kim K kina nani lazima wote waende ujae fanya fashion show ya Kanye wewe sijawahi he denied me alinikata alikukata i don't think it was about me i don't think ni mimi personally i think nilienda kwenye casting nilibisha nguo zao i don't think they liked the way nguo zilivyoonekana on me na ile magagulo yale exactly okay. said no but <laughs> i really wanted to want to do the show ni kweli nitaka kufanya sana wow i say how how is our fashion designers yao yeah. kwenye ulimwengu wa fashion wanaonekanaga kama miungu watu yani mm-hmm. wanaheshimika sana. sana kwa nini i think kwa sababu unajua creative people they are very different yani yeah, mtu yeah. anakaa na ideas alafu kuzitoa ideas kichwani mm-hmm. kuzidraw au kuziweka into like clothing yeah. au kuweka into yani something that people can see and touch it's really hard watu wengi kama sisi tuna ideas nyingi lakini physically to transform idea kutoka huko mpaka uweke physically mm-hmm not easy. Laba ndo maana sana watu wani unawaheshimu sana. Yaani they just they hold such a high pedestal yeah, for yeah. them. Yeah. Na na, na 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 nani uh, marehemu Vaj Ablo. Yeah. Ushafanya nani kazi? I did. Okay. Many times. Mm-hmm. Actually the last show nilifanya 2020 was uh for Off White. Yeah, kampuni yake ile. Yeah. Ilikuaje? Na alikuwa ni mtu gani mtu aina gani? Virgil was I think he was just a good guy. Mm. Yaani he's very chill. He's very like 
yani ni mtu ambaye you just unataka tu kuwa rafiki yake yani yeah. he's just very relaxed anafanya kazi yake he's not about like yo 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 this is just like cool mm. yeah kama wewe yeah he's oh, just a chill guy thank you thank you <laughs> kuna huyu jamaa namuonaga siji generator nani yuko bowman nadhani kijana hivi olivia olivia hiyo yeah. yeah. jamaa vipi naye no, no. really good okay yeah, una wish afanya naye sana olivia is a nice guy mm. so Olivia is actually really young. I think ana miaka sio 32 mm. and amekuwa designer of Oman for the last 10 years. Okay. So I imagine since 22 amepewa the head job, yani ni kama CEO wa kampuni kubwa, iconic brand. He's very creative. Na na watu wanalipo hela nyingi sana hawa eh. Sana. Yeah, they're rich eh. Very rich. Yani unajua wenzetu wanafanya kama unakuwa CEO of a company, sio tu unalipwa mshahara. Mm. Unapata shares za kampuni pia. So hata kama umeacha hiyo kazi ya CEO bado zile share zako zipo. It means like you're still getting paychecks. Hata kama umeshazeeka huko hapa utatoka they'll still be getting those checks. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Really na na haya makampuni mengi naona kama ni ya wazungu zaidi, si ndio? Sana. Yeah. Yeah, there's very few ambazo ni za you know blacks. Black people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Na na treatment ikoje kati ya models wa kizungu na weusi? Is it fair? Um No, mm. it's not fair kwa sababu ukiwa okay, labda tuseme kwenye fashion show unakuta labda let's say wasichana 50 mm. and then unakuta labda mmoja tu au wawili ndio wasichana weusi. So it's not fair lakini it's not Napambana. Yeah, it's not fair. But also I think the reason why I wanted to start my agency is because ukifika huko there's not really too many models of color unakuta wale mixed ama different like races asian brazilian yani kufika like a real african mm. tuko wachache yani kama kama tuseme kama wewe alivyokuwa Naomi Kambo exactly, wachache wachache yani true african ambao wametoka huko nyumbani mm. it's very rare so i feel like if we give those designers a chance kuona kwamba sisi tabia tunaweza mm. And so far nani sasa ambaye wako huko ambao ni wa Afrika kabisa wewe nani ni wa church adult but adult ame she's australian amezaliwa australia ah. so it's different okay yeah ambao wako yani kuna anok yeah there's a few yeah sio wengi wewe uliwezaje kufika hapo you know sky <laughs> i huh? know sijui kwa kweli eh? i think ni mungu i don't know i think kuwa in the right place at the right time. Mm. Pia baraka, I don't know. I really don't know. Baka leo I can't believe it. Yeah. I really can't. Sio sio si rais na ukianza ku trace labda hizi nchi zetu ni kina nani ambao wako wamefika level kama yako. Ni ngumu hata South Africa nani kwa mfano Nigeria. Hamna, yani ni But now wa Nigeria wanajitahidi kidogo. Ah, wanaenda enda. Yeah, wanaenda enda. Makonya mziki huko ndo wamefanikiwa na kwenye modeling pia unaona wanapambana. Wanapambana. So yeah. sisi tunafanyaje? That's why I'm here sky. Okay. So maana nimefika <laughs> hapa. <laughs> sisi tunafanyaje? You know okay. kuna kitu ambacho kinaniuma sana. Hey. Kuna a photo shoot I did. Kuka kuna Jamaican models. Mm. I think kuka maybe like 60 models. Jamaican models are making the corner. Yaani wenyewe wanajuana from the Jamaica. South Sudanese models wamekaa kwenye kona wa Juana. Sasa mtanzania I was just by myself. Of course, amna mtu ananitenga, naweza nikaenda nikajichanganya na wengine. Yeah. Lakini ningependeza sana tungekuwa na kakundi ketu kwa Tanzania models, we're international yeah. supermodels. But yeah, we have a lot of work to do. Ndio maana umeanzisha agency. Ananiambia mkuja yeah. na agency yake ambayo ishaanza kufanya kazi ama kwanza inaitwaje agency inaitwa 210 model management okay. 210 management and so, so, so basically ni tawi la ile lao ile ile yako inaitwaje ambao wana kusimamia wewe no yangu ile inaitwa elite elite yeah. okay na kuna angie ziko nyingi but 210 210 okay hii ini, inaitwa mother agency na what mother agencies wanafanya ni basically kuwa link connection mm. ya yeah models wa hapa na Wanji. agencies za kule. Aha. So kitu nilichoona Tanzania ni kama kuna modeling agencies nyingi mm. lakini hawasaidii wasichana kufika level ya juu. Yeah. Kama wanafanya locally. Mm. My goal ni kutumia connections zangu zote nilizotengeneza kule ku sign models watoke huku afike kule. That's it. Mm. So una una, 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 una 
So <laughs> una kujaje na unaanza kwa kwa spot? Um tutakuwa tunafanya open casting call ambapo ah. mtu atakuja ofisini kwetu tutawachoose au unaweza ukaapply kwenye website yetu kujaza information zako tukiona unafaa my assistant will call you but I believe that Tanzania tuna so much potential. Mm. Tuna wazuri, tuna vijana wazuri and I feel like kwa nini wengine wanafika sisi hatufiki. Yeah. You know. Aipendezi tu kuwa the only one ambaye amefika. Yaani I don't like this title supermodel wa Tanzania. Yeah, no. I want Kwa wewe tu. No, nataka mm. kuwe tuwe wengi. Yeah. Yeah. So that's my goal. I'm hoping that in 5 years mm. tarudi kufanya interview. Najua ofisi yako itakuwa hivi yeah, but yeah. I'm hoping that nikija <laughs> utakuja na pengine na wawili au mmoja ambao huyu mmoja um, sky no zaidi ya hao yeah like 20 okay ambao wanasema huyu katembea kwa Kanye huyu kat Balenciaga huyu wa Evo yani eh siku hizi anaishi Marekani yeah yeah hiyo ndo sasa yani ndo go yangu oh, yeah. pia unajua mm. kwa nyumbani maisha sio mazuri maisha ni magumu let me just be honest Kweli. so kama mimi na chance ya kuashika wasichana wengine mkono why not you know mm-hmm. yeah so that's what i plan to do so so uh, process naanza zimeshaanza na watu labda na on mm. saturday tarehe 29 july 29 mm. jumamosi tutafanya our first casting call open call mm-hmm. ambayo kama mtu unajua we una vipengele vya kuwa modo au unataka kuwa modo If you want to be international uje pale kwenye um, sleepway hotel tunafanya casting okay sleepway and then yeah mhm ambao ni vigezo vipi ili watu wajijue kabisa hatuna vigezo sky we take everyone awe kama wewe au kama mimi but we also take plus size we also take wasichana wafupi unajua with a model unaweza kumwangalia mtu ukasema huyu hataweza yeah lakini you have to see the vision yani you have to see the future you have to envision them yani kiangalie hivi maybe i can see them on this runway yeah, see this yeah. designer anawapenda sio kila modo ambaye kila designer atampenda kuna modo ambaye ana fit this brand kuna modo ambaye ana fit this brand na so, na wewe kupitia experience yako ushawajua hawa ma, ma, ma designer kama huyu anapenda gawe na hii exactly. kwa hiyo utakuwa unajua kabisa huyu flana atampenda exactly okay yeah. kwa hiyo utakwepo wewe pale na wengine wata panya runway pale nitauliza exactly. maswali au inakuwaje yeah i have a team mm. ambayo watanisaidia ku decide who will make it to the agency and who will not and tutauliza maswali maswali ya kawaida tu age jina lako na miaka mingapi mm. urefu wako basi okay yeah na lazima wanajua kuongea kiingereza hapana tena bora hata sijui kiingereza ah yeah we want people yani nataka kila mm. mtu aje authentic aje as themselves yani mm-hmm. we just you kiingereza sijui oh umeshafanya modeling before no okay yeah so so mkishawachuje mkawapata mm-hmm. naweka kwenye database na ndo naanza sasa kutafuta kazi au tunaweka kwenye website yetu na kuna database like you said our software yeah. and then tunatuma picha zao kwa agencies za nje wakiwapenda which i'm sure the agencies tawapenda wanakuwa signed okay. and then the future is theirs ah si hiyo ni fursa nzuri sana kazi kwenu kina dada Ah uh, <laughs> na ah sio sio na wake tu. No. Male models pia. Okay. Yeah, That's me kwa najua ni okay. Sana male models pia. Mhm. Fashion ni watu wote. Sawa. Kwa hiyo kina kaka kina dada nafasi ndio hiyo. Harriet Poe nafahamu page yake ni hivyo Harriet Poe. Bila shaka uh, kuna kuna website tayari. Yeah, website. Iko wapi? Online. No, I mean mtu anaweza kaklik wapi? Yeah, 210 management.com. Okay, okay. Yeah. Kwenye bio ipo kwenye bio yako? Yes, yeah. Okay, sawa. Kwa hiyo fanya hivyo. Uh, think process nyingine ushazijua lakini ni slipway Jumamosi tarehe 29 au mpaka ujirejista kwanza. Unaweza ukaibuka tu. Unaweza ukaibuka tu, lakini M- msije mkashindwa. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. Naomba wajae because <laughs> <laughs> Was for will be really bad. We have a full team, we have security. Yeah. We just want to meet everyone. Yaani tukutane na kila mtu ambaye anapenda modeling, anataka ku try modeling and then we'll move on from there. Mm. Yeah. So so Herod, kwa umeamua kuhamia kurudi nyumbani au? Hapana, nimeona kama nyumbani there is more for me to do. Mm. So now six months niko huku lakini hizo six months nikipata kazi kule kama hivi mwezi wa 8 tarehe 15 narudi kule kazi for yeah. two days naenda kazini narudi also napenda sana kuwa nyumbani mm. yeah. 
Unapenda ndio hivyo Harriet ana ukimsikia Kiswahili akijapotea au struggle jambo zuri sana au si manake anapenda nyumbani. So umeniambia kwamba una nyumba Canada uh, tatu. Hapa nyumbani vipi? Bado unajenga. Unajenga wapi? Zanzibar. Zanzibar anajenga Zanzibar. Unajenga hoteli au ni sehemu ya kuishi? <laughs> Tutaongelea hayo baadaye. Najenga sehemu ya kuishi kwa for now. Kwa nini Zanzibar? Um, Zanzibar nimepapenda because kila nikija nyumbani naendaga Zanzibar kupumzika na familia yangu. Okay. Na kila nikienda nakaa hotelini. Nikaona kwa nini nisijenge na mimi nyumba yangu? Mm-hmm. Mimi nikifika nifikie nyumbani. Nafikia nyumbani. Yeah. Okay. Especially Perfect. kama una mtoto you need like mm. you need a house sio kila siku hotelini. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Lakini so far ukija ya Tanzania mmeniambia ni chanika ambako ndo kwa mama. Ni yeah. familia yenu ilipo. No, I, I think ni toka Zamani, si ndio? Hapana, kipindi kile tulikuwa hapo mjini. Ah, okay. Yeah. Hii ni recently, eh? Yeah, this is okay. recent. Mama amerudi Tanzania. Mama alikuwa so Canada. Ame retire. Ah, okay. Yeah, for the last four years, I'm mm-hmm. going retired, so yuko hapa. Okay. And I think the more that she's here, the more anapenda kukana mjuku wake, so mm. the more mimi naweza kurudi huku. Mjuku mjuku ni ni kijana yule, yeah. wa kiume. Yeah, Anataka ni bilionea. Kwani? <laughs> Because like, AKA. Yeah, ni AKA. Like in Tango Mezalio he's been working. Okay. Ah. Yeah, Naye anafanya kazi. Yeah. How? He's working. Kuna kazi zinakuja? Yeah, kuna kazi zinakuja sana. Hela nzuri kabisa. Sana. Ndio maana tunamuita bilionea. Yaani kwa hiyo account yake na iko vizuri. Ukisema eh tunataka kumchukulia bilionea diaper, tunachukua tu account yake. Bilionea shida. Eh dada alipwe bilionea na account yake. Ah. Hizo mm-hmm. ni kazi gani ambazo anazifanya? So sometimes anafanya uh, so all the time kwa sababu bado ni mtoto yeah, anataka yeah. kuwa mtoto. Lakini anafanya modeling just like me, photo shoots wakimuita naenda nampeleka, baba yake anampeleka. <laughs> yeah, so baba yake, mama yake wote ni kwenye fani hiyo. Kwa hiyo mtoto naye pia like father like son yeah hey, like mother like son evo evo yeah sim chezo exactly oh it's kwa mnamuita billionaire ah that's awesome okay kwa hiyo uh, shemeji uh, yeye ameamua kwa mimi anajua kiswahili by the way sana ah sana kupita mimi kweli mm amekijulia wapi alisomea Sudan yule ah okay amesomea Kenya yeah. kwa kiswahili anakijua unasema anakijua kupita wewe no anakijua yani anakijua zaidi ya mimi zaidi yako wewe yeah. um, amini ni mswahili kabisa yani mbongo kabisa <laughs> <laughs> awesome so uh, kwenye covid ni engage yeah. kwa kinachosubiriwa ni harusi tulifanya harusi ya kimila oh. na tujafanya ile ya ya ile ya kupendeza kwa yeah. watu waje na nini hey, hey, amlifanyia hey. wapi tulifanyia kwa South Sudan okay yeah. juba au mji gani no tonji tonji yeah. pakoje Sudan it's nice okay <laughs> Kama Tanzania tunajua Afrika kwa tunafanana. Sudan tunajua kuna madaktari walikuja hapa muhimbili mm-hmm. watu lakini like, kilikuwa friends yani uh, so they, Sudan they ni... the, actually I saw the news <laughs> kwenye SNS. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> kwa hiyo yeah ni ni sehemu nzuri. Yeah. Sawa sawa. Well, uh, una chakula cha aina yako ambao unatakiwa ule ili siweze ku gain au nini? Mm. Una maintain vipi ile muonekano ule ile? Kwa najua ukiongezeka kidogo tunaweza ka pigwa pembeni au ni kweli ukiongezeka unapigwa pembeni lakini sasa hivi vitu vimebadilika mm. like the way things are done vimebadilika unaweza ukawa umegain weight umepungua ni mwembamba ni mfupi you'll be accepted for who you are ni mm. kama wamefunguka sasa akili everyone's yeah. open minded na kuhusu kupungua for me kwa sababu nilianza already niko mwembamba so they hold me to that standard ya kuwa the same size mm-hmm. but what i do is nakula anything i want gari chips mayai ila yeah. nafanya mazoezi kila siku aha uh-huh. yeah kwa always uka gain maybe so no maintain pale pale uh-huh. okay au jinyime kula hapana kula kila kitu everything mm-hmm. there's times where una naonja onja lakini yeah. most of the time i eat everything maki kuna wengine wana ikondesha ni ukiona unapita pako na uhurumia ni kweli <laughs> <laughs> Upepo, wakipita na upepo na upepo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. wanakuwa gome konda sana, naona mifupa kabisa. Um, kweli kuna wengi wanajikondesha lakini unajua wengi ni genetics. Ah. Uh-huh. Yaani wengi walivyo. Wamezaliwa hivyo, familia yao ukiona kila mtu yuko hivi. Yeah. So, Kwa hata ale vipi? Hata ale vipi? Always gain. Yeah. Mm. But I'm not one of them. Mimi mchaga. Okay. So ni kila ni kila kila mazoezi. 
Yeah. Um ni nchi gani ambayo ni uh, the biggest kabisa kwenye kwenye career yenu? Um I would have to say nchi ambayo ni kubwa sana for a model ni New York. Yaani Marekani. Marekani. Yeah. And the city ni New York because New York is where dreams come true. Mm. Yaani if you wanasemaga if you can make it in New York, you can make it anywhere. Yeah. So I think for a model, I even think for other careers like artists, musicians, who keep make it in Marekani, in mm. New York, yeah. then you can make it anywhere. Ah, kwa New York kwa hiyo ukizungumzia uki fashion New York naongoza. Na masuala ya uigizaji ndio hivyo inabidi iwe Los Angeles kwa sababu ya Hollywood iko huko na nini. Kwa lakini fashion center ni New York. Fashion center ni New York. Mm. Yeah. All the brands and you Fifth Avenue maduka yote designers zote any type of fashion or attack utaipata New York. Mm. Yeah. Una hisi utafanya modeling kwa miaka mingi ijayo? Sana. Okay. I think the way ni leave you clients bado wataendelea kuniulizia. Yeah. Na I don't think nitasema no. I think nitaendelea kufanya even when I'm like 60. Mm. You know why nasema hivyo kwa sababu kuna different types of modeling. Kuna modeling ya you know young people teenagers kuna modeling ya pregnant women mm. kuna modeling ya older women so there's always work and kama bado ananiulizia I'll always say yes yeah kweli yeah. umeongea kitu cha mko hiyo hata yeah kuweka kuna picha labda zinahitajika la mtu mzima exactly mama mwenye mtoto mm. nini zote hizo zafanya exactly. na ufikiri kufanya kitu kingine zaidi ya hiki well sky i don't think kuna kazi ambayo maybe zipo lakini for me i don't think kuna kazi ambayo inaweza kukulipa as much as modeling inalipa kweli kweli ah ni, ni inalipa sana inalipa sana alafu it's not that difficult kufanya mm. it's not really hard kutembea runway shows yani sio ngumu kivyo ku pose in front of the camera yeah. yani kuwa professional ku show up on time make sure unapanda if you really think about this guy yani it's one of those jobs ambayo una enjoy sana kufanya mm. unapanda ndege wewe una enjoy eh sana unaenda different places you meet so many different people like you stay in the most expensive hotels you eat the most expensive food and na na na, na, na by the way ukiitwa kwenye hizi hizi uh, kazi lazima uweke five star una una biggest of yako una standards zako for me eh, now eh. yes ambayo ni ipi standards zako la kunahitaji nini mtu akikuhost kwa ajili ya kazi for me now eh. kama mtu ananiita kazi kama eh. ni ndege na panda italy kwa let's say italy eh. more than f- masaa manne ya kupanda ndege lazima mm. ni fly business aha uh-huh. sky mini mrefu sana siwezi kukaa ekono <laughs> kaumo mgongo <laughs> business hiyo ni mu- lazima lazima okay Yani unless the client and say like you know we really not you and Nakaruma we really like you like you we can't afford that maybe I'll say it's fine okay. upgrade mwenyewe Yeah So um kingine ni it doesn't have to be five star hotel like any I just want a hotel in like a good neighborhood yani safety yangu so yeah. niko nchingeni sitaki kwa hotel ambazo zaeleweki neighborhood ambayo haijulikani and then that's it sina sina categories nyingi ni hizo mm-hmm. tu I just want to stay in a good neighborhood and to fly business. Okay. Yeah. Now, now wewe unaenda mwenyewe au unaenda na watu? Uh sometimes naenda na my agents most of the time alone. Okay. Yeah. Ah uh, kwa ukifika kule una security unahitaji pia? Oh? No because ukifika there's a driver na kusubiri airport na kupeleka hotel from the hotel unaenda kazini then unarudi airport. Mm. Yeah. Wow. So ndo hivyo guys, huyo ndo Harriet Paul ashakwambia kwamba lengo lake kubwa ni kuwasaidia models upcoming models wa hapa nchini Tanzania ndio maana amefungua agency na tarehe 29 Slipway pale anafanya hiyo uh, usaili kwa ajili ya kutafuta hivi vipaji na safari ya kwanza kusaidia uh, models uh, wapya ianze mara moja na unaamini kwamba wengi watafika mbali naamini yani sio tu naamini mm. na uhakika uhakika upo actually i'm not supposed to say this juzi nilivyo announce kwenye instagram nimeanzisha agency kuna msichana akantumia message. Mm. Na mia kumna tisa, yuko hapa hapa Tanzania. Kanitumia picha zake. Nikamwambia okay my assistant atakurudia. Mm. Nikaangalia picha zake I was shocked. Yaani Tanzania tuna talent. Sasa hiyo hiyo nikazituma picha zake New York yeah. agency imemsign. Tayari. Sasa yani 
It's that easy, easy. like that. It's that easy. Kazi tayari ataanza kufanya. Unamtafutia kwanza visa, but yeah. I say Ah, kwa hiyo kumbe uh, si kumbe uwezekano ni mkubwa sana. Imagine hiyo imekuwa sasa watu utakao kuja pale mtapata vipaji vingi sana. I hope so. Yeah. Yeah. Harry tumefurahi sana kuongea na wewe kila la Harry na Sante kwa endelea kuwa kutufuatilia make wewe ni ni, ni mwana SNS pia. Sana. Yeah. <laughs> I wish ningekuwa na t-shirt ya SNS. Ningekuwa na rock. Anywhere. Yes, yes. Yeah, thank you so much kwa kipindi kirefu and I hope uh, baadaye tena zile content zetu tutaanza kuzipata. Tutakuwa umetulia. We really need that. You know Sky we should do it for the agency <laughs> na ama mado wapi in the Kabisa. Yes. Very true. Very true. Watu watakuwa waone hayo maisha. Kwa mfano kwa zile episodes zilizo share tu. Tulijua vitu vingi sana ambao tulikuwa tujui. Yeah. In si mamodo wanavokutana hizo vyumba si maandiko hivi ingia hapa it was yani an i open kwa watu wengi sana kwa hiyo na i wish kuweza ku, kuendelea kupata tena hizo zingine yeah you will. you will utazipata thank you so much msalimie um, sana billionaire nitamsalimia au sio ni sema pia wewe asante kwa kuwa nasi huyo ndio herit po google ha una si unajua ku Google mgugu Herod Paul then utashangaa mambo makubwa mengine ambayo hajayasema hapa lakini ni makubwa sana supermodel tayari kabisa kutoka Tanzania na sasa ndio hivyo anataka kushika mkono wenzake hapa nyumbani Santi sana kwa kuwa nami inaitwa Frederick Bundala Skywalker hadi wakati mwingine kwa heri wateja wako watarajiwa wanaangalia video hii kama biashara yako ingeonekana pamoja na unachokiangalia sasa Wengi wangegeuka kuwa wateja wako wapya. Tuandikie sasa info@snstz.com au WhatsApp pekee 0659 250389. Tufikishe biashara yako kwa na SNS.